somebody comes and fixes the fan on my oven. So we're going to get right into what I want to show you today, which is how to make a cheese board. So my philosophy on this channel is I really want you to live an elevated, elegant life, but I want it to be convenient and I want it to be kind of synonymous with the North American lifestyle. So I'm going to show you how to make a cheese board, which is perfect after quarantine if you have some of your friends over and you just want to serve something very, very easy. I'm going to show you the types of cheese that I think that you should always have on hand in your fridge so that you can easily make this cheese board and I'm going to show you a few options of things that you can pair with it. So we're going to start with just a regular board. You can use any type of cutting board, even just the ones from Ikea that are the rectangular shape. This is actually a cheese board and it swivels, so it's perfect if you are gathering with your friends. And I just got this at Canadian Tire. I'm sure you can find this at Target, Walmart, anything like that. I'm going to show you some of the wines that I like to keep on hand to pair with cheese. First off, I like to keep an assortment of wines. I think that that is very good because you never know the type of person that's gonna come over and their particular taste. I could just drink a Cabernet Sauvignon for my whole entire life, but not everybody is like that. So I have a Cabernet Franc because it's more of a dry flavor. And then you also wanna go for like a dry white wine. And the reason why I think that dry wines pair nicely with cheese is because you don't wanna detract from the flavor of the cheese. And if you have more of like a sweet type of wine um, or like a very, very spicy type of wine, it's going to detract from the flavor of the cheese as well as the sweet pairings that you're going to put together with it. The next one is of course just a Chardonnay. So very, very basic. And for the people who do not drink wine, I always keep a bottle of sparkling water right here if that is something that they want to drink. And then of course you can offer them juice or tap water or anything else that they would like. It all depends on the taste that your guests enjoy. What I recommend when you're creating your board is that you want a soft cheese, you want a hard cheese, and you want a medium cheese, and then you can add a type of like special cheese as well, an extra flavorful cheese to your board if you want to add a fourth cheese. Follow me on Pinterest because I have a bunch of ideas for cheese boards as well as some graphs that will help you with the pairings based on the types of cheese that you buy. I also like to pair with a bunch of things that I have in my cupboards as well as in my fridge. For example, some artichokes, some olives. I like to pair nuts like almonds as well as sweetness, so grapes. And then we have the figs, dried figs. We have apricots. Oh, what else do we have? We have prunes dried up prunes. Basically anything that has the combination of different flavors together. You want to have that assortment of flavors when people are eating the cheese board. Now I did 
forget to tell you that you're going to want to have at least two different types of wine glasses, probably three, one for champagne, one for white wine, one for red wine. Again, if you follow me on Pinterest, you're going to notice that there are different types of wine glasses within each category. But generally, if you want to keep it pretty simple, if you want to just go to like Walmart or Target and get the two different types of wine glasses, I'm going to show you the little difference between both so that you understand. You have your red wine glass, which is a little bit bigger as you can tell, and then your white wine. Can you all tell the difference a little bit? And of course, your little champagne flute. So here's the thing, I tried to get big planter pots for the front door as well as the side door, that's what I wanted to show you today, but they were all sold out, I guess because everybody is in quarantine and that is like the only store open, Lowe's and Home Depot, people really like to go there, they bought all the pots. I could only find these small pots that I'm going to put right here. So this is the best I can do right now and hopefully in a future vlog I will be able to show you how I do those big pots. Today we're just gonna keep it really easy. I can't find my gardening gloves. So we're working with this. This is real life, real life today. <laughs> So I've started to read one of my YouTube friends' books. I'm going to link it down below. I'm also going to link her channel. I've mentioned her before here, so some of you might already be following her. that I got at the Dollar Tree. Can you believe it, at the Dollar Tree? So I'm gonna put these on my oven. I also got some oven mitts. Get yourself these things from the Dollar Tree if you like lemon stuff for summer, just like I do. And I also got this, these sets of plates. And usually I kind of find that plates and stuff, when they're lemon pattern, they're a little bit tacky, but I find that these are actually not tacky and they're pretty cute. So I have the bowl. I have the little plates I got for six people, but I'm going to set it up just for two people so that you see how the table looks when I set it for two and how they all look together, just because it's only my husband and I who are eating dinner together tonight. And, of course I got the big plate. <laughs> So my oven 
to act up, so I can't actually show you the finished product today. But the next recipe that I want to show you this afternoon uh, is it the afternoon yet? It's almost 12 in 10 minutes, so it's almost the afternoon, is a berry galette, a mini berry galette recipe. This is another recipe that if you were just have people like pop over and you wanted to make something really, really quick in the summer or in the spring, this is the perfect recipe for you. You would pair this more with a dessert wine, like a Pinot Grigio Rosé, something very sweet. I have a Pinot Grigio Rosé blend that a lot of people like. Not my favorite personally, but a lot of people like it. Or, of course, again, sparkling water. Another thing you could do would be like hot chocolate or even tea. I know it's in the summer. You could probably do a cold chocolate, cold hot chocolate. You understand what I'm trying to say. This is a perfect recipe because it's so easy because you're going to take pie crusts that I recommend you freeze. So you either buy them at the store or you make a bunch of pie crusts and you just freeze them. You take this out, you let it thaw, you mix some berries together with some sugar. I'm going to link the recipe as always down below. You put it and you fold it the way that it makes little galettes and you have your perfect something very quick to serve the people who come over recipe. I'm going to freeze these after I make them. I'm going to bring them to my mother's house if my oven doesn't work. If it starts working, I'll be able to make it here. But if it continues not to work, I'm going to bring it to her house in a few days. She's going to cook it. She's going to give me a picture or a video and I'm going to be able to post it somewhere here to show you how it all turned out. So here he is, Mr. Blitz. Hello, little kitty. Okay, so now I actually have to go to the store and I'm not gonna take you with me because as you know, going to the store nowadays is a little bit complicated. So we're gonna end the vlog here. I'm going to vacuum a little bit before I go to the store. I'll show you a clip of that. I wanted you to subscribe, leave me a comment, like this video. Subscribe! And I will see you next time, my lovely feminine friends. Bye-bye.